Today I will show you how to fix this problem of green water where the water turned green after you added chlorine. The solution also applies in case the water turned black, brown, yellow or any other similar color after you added chlorine. So now look step by step the fastest, cheapest and most guaranteed possible solution for this problem. Let's start! First of all, you must know that if the water turns green or another color like brown or yellow or something like that after you added chlorine, that's because metals got into the pool, such as manganese, magnesium, etc. In this example is because it rains a lot and that's how metals got into the pool. This could also happen if you add water from a well. So the steps to follow are First, adjust pH between 7.2 to 7.6. Besides measuring the pH, I also take advantage of measuring the cyanuric acid level. Because if you have a high level of cyanuric acid, this means above 100 parts per million, then it is better to change the water of the pool instead of treating it. But if you can't measure alkalinity or cyanuric acid, just jump this step and only measure and adjust pH. This time I have a high higher pH than 7.6, so I need to reduce it. To do that, get into the app Manage Your Pool, Solutions section, last option, which is brown, yellow or green water. I take the opportunity to tell you that here is the entire procedure that I am explaining to you. Click in the step to adjust pH, click in Calculate, introduce the capacity of water of your pool, this time are 18,500 gallons, initial pH, minus Mine is 8.2, desired pH, it will always be in 7.4 as a suggestion, alkalinity of the water this time is 80 parts per million, click in calculate and add the calculated amount of pH reducer, mix it well in a bucket of water and add it well distributed walking around the pool. Remember to use gloves to handle this acid. Next step is to add new water, because at the end of the treatment you will lose some inches of water. So fill the pool to the fullest you can because you won't want to add new water. Now you need to perform a super chlorination. I recommend you to add 12 parts per million of chlorine so that all the metals can react with the chlorine and there are no metals left. To calculate it, get to the app, to the very solution section, to the last option that you already know, click in the step that says to perform a super chlorination, click in calculate, the gallons of your pool will already be saved, the number of bathers you don't care in this treatment, Point the initial chlorine you had, in my situation was 0.5. Point the desired chlorine, which is 12 parts per million. Choose the chlorine you will use. I'm using CalHypo, clicking Calculate and add the amount of chlorine to a bucket of water. Mix it very well. You might take up to 3 minutes to mix it if it has low quality and then add it well distributed walking around the pool. Now, as next step, brush the pool very well. This is just in case some of those metals got sticked to the walls or floor. Then use your lift net. Remove every debris you can. This is just so that you can wait for chlorine to mix very well and to do its effect. Then measure and verify that you have reached a super chlorination. You must reach an elevated level of chlorine to know that all the metals have already reacted. And if you have the pH high at this point, you can leave it like that. It might lower in a few days. Now wait 4 hours so that chlorine do its job and add Floculent. To calculate it, click on the step that says add flock, click again in calculate, point the type of turbidity you have, I recommend to use medium, or if it's way too much I recommend to use high, choose the type of floculant you will use, I'm using a powder one, which is aluminum sulfate, click in calculate and mix very well for 3 minutes the calculated amount in a bucket of water. 
then add it well distributed walking around the pool and finally mix a little bit the water now let the water rest completely with your pump off for 24 hours or it could be maybe some 12 hours depending on how deep is your pool and magically after 24 hours everything will be settled at the bottom so last step is to vacuum to waste this time i'm using an external pump so i have to introduce the vacuum cleaner then the hose in a vertical way so that it can fill with water and can take away all the air that it has inside i prime very well the pump you have to connect your hose to your vacuum point it might be the skimmer in my situation is the pump and vacuum the bottom very very slowly this is the most relaxing part of the treatment and it is how all those metals go away after you finish vacuuming just wait until chlorine levels lower to three parts per million and ph between 7.2 to 7.6 and you can take a safe and cool swim remember not to add water again until you can perform all this treatment back again very important if you have doubts or something is not working for you it will be my pleasure to answer all your consultations through the consults button that is in the app manage your pool premium membership is very cheap and the shopping is very safe through the Google Play Store or the App Store. Bye bye!